Hey you guys, this is Mark Noor, and I'm going to talk about dating preferences. Um, a friend of mine knew this individual that said they would be forever alone. And when I asked why, it turns out the individual would only date people that are other kin and are of a specific kin type or stereotype. And you, he asked why, or they asked why. I'm not sure if the individual is he or she, but um, they asked why, and it turns out the individual felt like non-other kin people just didn't get it. Paraphrasing it, or you know, quoting, they just don't get it, and that when they date a non-other kin person or when they try, they just feel awkward and weird and like a freak. And in my opinion, I just. I, I understand where they're coming from, but I'm going to give my opinion on this. That preference is stupid, in, in my opinion. The preference is just immature. It's not stupid, it's immature. It's immature and ignorant because, from my own personal experience, non-other kin people do get it. I've had many non-other kin acquaintances, friends, significant others, that have fully understood me. They understood everything about me. We've shared connections and extremely well chemistry that I can see myself being with them for the rest of my life. I've had friends that shared many interests with me that, you know, a lot of other can just don't have the same level of interest in. Like, um, I've had some friends that are really into acting and really into poems and, and all this other stuff and traveling. And like, I've had some other can friends that like the same thing, but it wasn't the same type of chemistry. It wasn't really the same thing. I, I'm just saying, you can't say whether chemistry is going to work out, because whether someone's other kin or not. You are basically disqualifying various potential significant others and soulmates, potential lifelong partners, just because they don't identify as some type of, as, as other kin and some type of kin type or stereotype. So, and you, and I'm going to counter these points. To me, um, I've had, from my own personal experience, I've had non-other kin friends that genuinely and deeply understood and cared for me and cared about me. More so than other kin individuals I encountered over the internet. I've had non-other kin friends that I've had less conflict with than other kin friends. I mean... From based on my personal experiences, I find that dating other kin is more, is more, more trying in a sense because it's just like anything, you know. You just because you two like the same thing or do the same thing or believe in the same thing, it doesn't mean that we're that you're really basically completely compatible. Just because you like the color black, and I like the color black, doesn't mean that we're compatible. You might like the color black because it's slimming. I might like the color black because I just like the simple darkness that it symbolizes. Um, and that's the same way I feel about other kin. Just because you two have the same kin type or stereotype or you're both other kin doesn't necessarily guarantee a relationship is going to happen. It doesn't mean it's going to be completely steady or stable or anything. And, you know, they said they felt like they would be awkward or freak because they like to nuzzle and lick and cuddle. And, in my opinion, that's not weird. You know, when you're dating someone, we usually tend to kiss and cuddle and hug someone. So nuzzling, licking, and cuddling someone is not that strange. It's not that odd in a relationship. And I mean, if you're doing it with strangers, then yeah, but in a relationship, no. And as for this individual, I feel like if you are dating someone or if you've been with someone that makes you feel like you are a freak or you're awkward or you're that you're just simply weird or, you know, makes you feel uncomfortable being yourself, then that isn't someone you should be with. Because whether they're other kin or not, uh, someone that really genuinely cares about you or really genuinely loves you allows you to be yourself. They allow you to really express yourself fully. And that's what matters. That's what I believe is all about. Preferences over shallow things are pretty stupid, like height. Height is stupid. Um, age, in a sense, is kind of stupid. If we're like, 
if you're not gonna date me because I'm just one year younger than you, or one year older than you, that's pretty stupid. But, you understand, I mean, but that's where I'm kind of getting at with this whole preference thing. It's just really shallow to write off everyone as incompatible with you based on the fact that they don't have the same interests as you. You know, sometimes I've seen relationships where people are complete polar opposites and they love and they love each other and it works out extremely well. And that's what I think relationships are about. It's not about, you know, being with your exact copy. And it's not about being completely with your polar opposite. It's just basically being with someone that allows you to be yourself and love you for all your faults and everything that goes with it. This is um Makanor. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.